Hey, what is going on guys? Thanks for checking out this video of my sports, Good Matria. In this video, I'm going to go over two UFC fights for Saturday, February 6th, 2021. We're going to look at the co-main event and the main event. I'm going to show you both sides of each fight. And it'll be up to you to determine who you think is going to win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your pick. And if for some reason you're curious to know who I'm picking in these fights, you're going to have to join my Patreon where my picks are always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck in your picks. Let's go ahead and get into these fights. So the first one, or the main event, we have Alistair Overeem versus Alexander Volkov. And then for the co-main event, we have Corey Sandhagen versus Frankie Edgar. First fight, first fight we're going to look into is the co-main. Edgar versus Sandhagen. On this side is what I call my daily numbers, date numerology. We have Greg Gorian, 13, 29, 49, date numerology, the 37th day. Right here is the Hebrew calendar both sides 24th day of the fifth month 24th day of the 11th month 141st day 318th day so this fight is taking place in las vegas back in the united states and looking over these numbers here for Corey and frankie Corey has uh, a narrative for him to lose and frankie has a narrative for him to lose. So they both have narratives to lose. Uh, we're just going to see what these numbers look like, and then you guys are going to decide what you like. So the first thing for Corey to lose this fight would be his name, Corey Sandhagen, sums to 62. This is the 293rd day of his current 28-year-old age. 293 is the 62nd prime number and with the loss he would become six and two for a ufc record for his career the reason why the 28 is marked uh in the hebrew civil color is because the number 28 sums to 141 and it is the 141st day on the hebrew civil so on the 293rd day of his 28-year-old age, which connects to the Hebrew, 293, 62nd prime, his name, 62, he can become 6-2 and two for a UFC fight record with the loss. He would sit on 13 wins for his career with the loss, today with 13 date numerology on the Gregorian. And I didn't see anything... You know, his 29th birthday is coming up. Today does have 29 date numerology on the Gregorian. I was looking at the 73 and the 74, and nothing jumped out at me significantly. Although, 74. No, I think it's 42 that sums. Yeah, it's 42 that sums to 74 and 124. I was going to say... Um, it might have a connection, 74 might have a connection to 142, but it's the number 42 that sums to both 142 and 74, and it could have been in, in favor of Corey for the 142. Uh, but the thing about the 142 is, I mean, today is the 141st day on the Hebrew Civil. Tomorrow is the 142nd day on the Hebrew Civil. Maybe he's one, dot, one day shy Corey can get his win instead of sitting on 13 and going 6 2. You know, maybe he's one day shy and becomes 142, one day prior to the 142nd day on the Hebrew. But the 62 would be his narrative to lose. Seems, um, seems like a straight line there. But I'm not entirely convinced that's what it is. I think, is Corey the underdog in this one? Now, Corey's is a minus 4, 10 favorite. That's a pretty big favorite. I don't know if I would trust that line. But at the same time, 
Let's look at Frankie Edgar. Frankie Edgar sums to 99. So both of these fighters can fall on their name Gamatria. Because the losing narrative for Corey would be his full name. And the losing narrative for Frankie would be his full name. Frankie Edgar sums to 99. Today does have 13 date numerology on the Gregorian. 13 sums to 99. And Frankie with the loss would get his ninth loss for his career. And he would get his ninth loss for his ufc career this is his 28th ufc fight we already talked about the number 28 with Corey, him being 293rd day of his 28 year old age 28 sums to 141 it is the 141st day on the hebrew civil tomorrow's the 142nd so keep that in mind uh, but this is frankie edgar's 28th ufc fight 28 sums to 140 41 and this is his 33rd overall fight for his career, and 33 also sums to 141. Eighteen nine one. if we pop that into, I have that marked for some reason. Eighteen nine one. this would be his UFC fight record if he uh, loses, he'll be 18-9-1. Uh, 1891 is the 61st triangular number. That's why I had it marked. Um, 61, the 18th prime number. But 61 would connect to 30 or 13 on the uh, on the Gregorian, and the reason why I say that is because 61. Sums to 41, the 13th prime number. So that would be against Frankie. 1981, that doesn't, I don't think that it has any properties. 1981, that didn't come up with any properties, nuh uh. And then um, 2391, 2391, no, and then uh, 2481, 2481, no, no properties. It is the 24th day on the Hebrew calendar. And Frankie could get his 24th win for his fight career. Uh, he would sit on eight losses for his career as well as eight uh, losses for his UFC career. This is Corey's eighth UFC fight. And Frankie would get his 19th UFC win at 19 the eighth prime. But at the same time, Frankie could sit on 23 wins for his career as he gets his ninth loss. His name, Frankie Edgar, sums to 99, 23 the ninth prime. He would also get his ninth UFC loss for his career. So the losing narrative for both these guys comes at, the, comes at their name, Gematria. So it's either going to be Frankie Edgar, 99, he gets his nines in his career in UFC, or it's going to be Corey Sandhagen, 62, and he becomes 6-2 and two for his, his uh, UFC career on the 293rd day of his age, the 62nd prime. Today is the 141st day on the Hebrew, but tomorrow's the 142nd, and Corey with the win could be just shy and become 14-2 for a record with the win. Although it is the today is the 24th day of the current month on the Hebrew, and Frankie could just go ahead and get his 24th win for his career. So you have a bit of a decision here um, to look at. Maybe add some other stuff on top. I didn't really see anything with the name Gematria or the location uh, offhand. Although, wait a minute. Yeah, I mean, Las Vegas, Nevada sums to 133. And Corey Sandahagen can become 13-3 with the loss for his uh, career. I have seen that happen. The numbers that I that I see happen in Vegas is the 130. If fighters come into Vegas and they're 12-0, and chances are they are going to be going 13-0 and in Las Vegas. I always see that from time to time. And then 133. Uh, from time to time, you will see fighters who fight in Vegas that can become 13-3 and either with a win or a loss. Something else that kind of gets me, I guess, is Las Vegas, Nevada sums to 245. Today is the 24th day of the fifth month on the Hebrew Civil, the 141st day. Maybe that would be on the fourth, 24th day of the fifth month, 
Las Vegas, Nevada, 245, 133. Corey goes down and becomes 13-3. So that's not a good look for Corey either. Uh, you're just going to have to decide uh, what seems to be more important to you or what you think is more important to them on how they're going to do this. So is he one day shy from the 14-2? Or is it his name, Gamachia, 62-62? And then potentially Las Vegas, 133-13-3. Or is Frankie Edgar just going to get his ninth loss, ninth UFC loss, sitting on 23, the ninth prime? Or could he get his 24th win on the 24th day at the Hebrew? It is the 113 days since his 39th birthday. And I know UFC Apex equals 113, which is where it's located in Las Vegas. So you're going to have to kind of play with that a bit. Um, and just kind of see what makes the most sense to you. So let's look at the uh, main event. Alistair Overeem versus Alexander Vol uh, Volkov. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. I don't know. Alexander comes into this fight 32-8 and eight for a fight record. So he's 32 wins, 8 losses. This is a day leaving 328 left on the Gregorian. 32 wins, 8 losses. So he's either going to get his 33rd win today or he's going to get his ninth loss. And it can go either way for him, uh, personally. Let's start with if he were to win. If Alexander was going to win this fight, UFC Fight Night Overeem versus Volkov sums to 359. 359 is the 72nd prime number. And Alexander would become 72 or 72 for a UFC fight record with a win. Now, we already talked about Las Vegas, Nevada. So I'm into 245 in the last fight. Today, the 24th day of the fifth month, the 141st day on the Hebrew. And Alexander can get his 33rd win for his career. And we know 33, since we mentioned it in the last fight, sums to 141. It is 260 or 261 days till his 33rd birthday, but I didn't really see anything connect for him to get his 33rd win. Uh, he can e just as easily sit on 32 wins for his career on the 32 on his age, 32 years old. Um, but the 33 does sum to 141. It is the 141st day on the Hebrew, the 24th day of the fifth month. This is in Las Vegas, Nevada, 245. Uh, what else would play in favor of Alexander? It would be Alistair, Alistair getting his 19th loss for his career in Las Vegas. Las Vegas sums to 86 and 130, just like 19. Sums to 86 and 130. Alistair has a one no contest in a in his fight record, so... This is a 66 fight, but if you add in the one no contest, this is actually a 67th fight. 67 is the 19th prime number. He could get his 19th loss in Las Vegas. 19 connects to 86 and 130. 19 is the 8th prime number. Alistair would get his 8th UFC loss for his career to go with. So that would be the narrative for Alexander to win. It would be the 33, the 72, and then the 19 pattern playing out for Alistair. What would be uh, Alexander's fall for him to lose? It's his ninth UFC fight for his career, and he can get his ninth loss for his career. I've seen that happen plenty of times. Um, you know, in the, the 33-28, he can sit on 32 at his 32-year-old age. It's his 41st fight. 41, the 13th prime. Today has 13 date numerology on the Gregorian. Alistair would get his 13th UFC win for his career. It's 100 and 101 days till his 41st birthday, 41, the 13th prime. So both of these guys have a birthday coming up that could help with their record. Either Alexander going to get his 33rd career win coming up on his 33rd birthday. Or Alistair's going to get his 13th UFC win coming up on his 41st birthday, 41 to 13th prime. 
Alistair could become 13-7 for a UFC record with the win. And that could be the 33 number that we'd be looking at. 137, the 33rd prime. 33 sums to 141. Today, the 141st day on the Hebrew Civil. The number 48, if Alistair wins this fight, and I should mark this dark blue as well, which is actually kind of convincing here. If he wins this fight, he gets his 48th win for his career. 48 sums to 133. You know, this would take place in Las Vegas, Nevada, 133. It also sums to 137, the 33rd prime number. And he can become 13-7 for his UFC fight record as he, becomes, as he gets his 48th win. 48 sums to 137. 137, the 33rd prime on the 141st day. 33 sums to 141. So uh, you have some pretty solid numbers here for both sides. You know, the 33 can be in favor of Alexander, and it can play in favor of Alistair. Uh, you're going to have to kind of just sit back and just see and go over these numbers and, and just see what makes the most sense to you and uh, what you think is going to be the outcome. Also, heavyweight. I should write that. Heavyweight sums to 133. So Las Vegas, Nevada, 133. Heavyweight, 133. Alistair can be, get his 48th win. 48 sums to 133 and 137, and it'll be 13-7. Or in his 67th fight, the 19th prime, and get his 19th loss. 19 sums to Las Vegas numbers, 86-130. He'll get his 8th UFC loss, 19 the 8th prime. So his record could go either way for him. If he wins, it connects. If he loses, it connects. Same with Alexander. If he wins, it connects. If he loses, it connects. You know, with Corey, if he wins, it connects with the 142. Frankie, 9-9. Nine, nine. If he loses, it connects with the 24, 13-3. So both these fights have their narratives. And I wish you guys the best of luck. Thanks, guys.